also, well, I mean, so if it's if it's like so if it's an ounce of food every hour, that doesn't seem like much. If it was ten ounces every hour, that'd be kind of cool, because then essentially you'd be going, you'd be going growing two hundred forty a day. Uh, 91 food for one of my tire? That's a decent trade. Now I need a tire, but whatever. 49 of their ammo for 21 food. Well, that's not bad. <clears throat> Two of their scrap? Nope. That's a good deal. I freaking shuffle the med kits around like nothing. Uh, I should actually fucking rest a little bit more. One of your muffler for four of their scrap? No. I need to stop, like, fucking trading. Four fuel for two med kits. Wow, it's a good thing I did not stop trading. Now I have almost a full fucking tank of gas again. Nice. Uh, we will rest. Or should I wait? I could just give her a med kit, actually. There you go. We can leave. 888 miles to ferry boat fort. Okay, that's cool. Are we in a radiated area now or now? Guess not. Okay, I guess I don't know what happened. I guess we're just like immune to radiation. Get this out of here. Cool. You lost in the country for back road for about an hour. Oh shit, no, no, we're not immune. Fuck. So what the fuck happened before? Then, I wonder. Uh, my wife is, uh, I should need to change my status. So that way I can, I'm on fucking do not disturb. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna set it to turbo. Now we have to fucking kick it in gear. So I don't know why the last trip, it fucking nothing was happening. I feel like Amanda's fucking health goes down a lot when we travel. Jesus Christ. Okay, when Amanda's, like, bit gets to, like, right here, we'll stop. Or basically, whenever the radiation meets her health, we'll stop. It might not catch it on the next one, but it'll catch it on the, the one after that. Crying as cholera. Fucking whatever, dude. Alright, we'll stop. We'll stop. We'll rest. I know it's, I shouldn't, but like, we have to get the health up.
All right, here we go. We only have a little bit of miles to go. The station wagon's gonna need to get repaired. So what happens if we go max radiation? Like, I would assume nothing good, right? Tells an inspiring story and puts everyone in high spirits. It's it's just play. It's just Amanda and me. Like Amanda and I. Like nobody else is in the car. It's just me and her. Holy shit. Oh man. Oh, med kits are down a lot. Med kits are seventy-seven dollars here. Now, I don't know if that means that stuff is cheaper out in the countryside versus being in the city. I guess so, but medkits are down a lot here. Oh, I don't want to buy any. What did they have? They had scrap. 111 ammo. What the fuck? Hired guns needed. Oh, man. The car's not good. We're in a really bad spot, actually. I've been getting... I've been getting really good medkit deals. So I might... I might... Like, the medkits do help with the radiation, it looks like. So, I might... Just use up the medkit. I'll, I'll keep mine... Um, down a little bit. Should we rest? No, but the car needs work. Fuck. This is, wait, what, this is considered a near miss, and this is considered okay? They look identical. I guess this one's moved in upwards a little bit, but. I'm starting to get a little low on scrap, but if the game is gonna. Fuck. If the game is gonna start getting a little bit easier, then, um then I might, then it might be okay. That's fine. I'm probably gonna start getting radiation sickness. We're gonna leave. Uh, should we gamble that we're gonna be out of the area? No, we're still in radiation. That's fine. Looks like something is going on to the side of the road. Actually, my radiation just went down, are we? Are we still in radiation? I don't fucking know. You see a man in glasses wearing a dirty torn up lab coat, you notice something off about him as he quietly moves for frantic and moves. Begins prying open a crate he's been standing next to, he's uncovering up the label. Boxo. And then shouts, battery. As you get close, he whips around, acting very defensive over his crate. You see the name tag on his lab coat that says, Sean. Hello, Sean. Where did you come from? Are you here to steal my box, or are you here to help me? I'll help him. You open the crate and find one battery inside. Sean begins to scream. Thank you. He continues to scream as it, as he runs off, not even looking your way. The crate must have been a boxo battery. Okay. Uh, is the radiation actually going away? It is. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna fuck this up, aren't I? Fuck off. Leave Amanda alone. It's not her time yet. We're gonna stop, actually, because the car needs to fucking... We need to stop killing the car. 30. Slow. <clears throat> Four walks off to cut to take a piss and comes back with a bite wound. That's great, except now she's got three. She's gonna get the fucking zombie chew, chew toy achievement at this rate. I guess we're, I don't know what this is up here. I don't know if this is a game bugging out or something, but I don't know. I, li I, I really don't have any idea. I thought for sure. 
we I thought for sure this was like still radiated zone. I guess not. Amanda, I don't know what my endless score is. It's probably the negatives. It's probably because I lollygag on this fucking game. But I mean, like this, I feel like endless. So like when you do the campaign, it's different. Like you know, you have an actual objective. But in endless, it's just you know, fuck all. Like you can do whatever you want. We're almost there, actually. No, the fuck we're not, actually. Never mind. I'm fucking, I thought we were close. I guess not. You aren't sure which way to go. God, if it's anything player... It's if, if it's anything Amanda and I are good at fucking doing, it's that we're fucking arguing about where to go. We get lost a lot, apparently. I wish she could change their names mid-game. I'd, I'd call her Amanda by now. Now, if that situation does arrive where... Uh, if I find a group of people that, you know, they're looking at Amanda and they'd be willing to take her off my hands, I might agree to it only because I would feel better if she was in someone else's hands versus my own. Like, it, like when, when it comes to time to put down Amanda, I'm going to be actually pretty sad because she legit outlasted everybody. Like, two and three got bit, and I kind of put them down when they got weak. And then one fucking, uh... One got encapped. See, one was my fault. I left him encapped too long and then he died. I didn't know that they could die when they were encapped. I thought they were just, you know, they couldn't do anything. So, that's just on me. Player one would still be here if I stopped right away and I didn't. So, I feel bad for that. But player four has been here for like... Player four has been here probably two to three times as longer as two or three has. And at least twice as long as player one. I should probably stop soon. I'm gonna stop because we're gonna rest a little bit I want I want Amanda to get a little bit better Alright, she's doing a little bit better, so we can go back out and drive. We are 450 miles away. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know what the next town is. I don't even know if it's going to be like one of those farmstead houses or if it's going to be an actual city. That's fine. I'd rather player four make an annoying noise than fucking be hurt or taken captured again. Oh my lord, I'm gonna have to stop again because Amanda's just not feeling well. That's alright, we'll, we'll rest a little bit longer this time. I wish it didn't take up so long. Like, take up, like, as little as it is. Like, it's definitely a lot healthier to, like, freaking... No, I do not look at tombstones. We know this. I I'll do a let's play where we look at every single thing on the side of the road, but I'm not doing that right now. Oh, wow. A heat wave, huh? That's the first one we've had all fucking session. So we're in a fucking heat wave area, huh? Spark, shoot out your muffler. Okay, cool. That's the first time we've ever had a heat wave. And we've been driving near 18,000 miles. I'm gonna be, like, running low on supplies here. I've lost a muffler, I've lost a couple of tires. Surprisingly enough, my battery is still doing pretty good. We've had, like, three or four fires in the car. I don't even know how a fire gets started in the car. Like, what the fuck? Poet heart. 